All right, welcome all of you in the lesson number 35 for grade one mathematics. We are learning the unit halves and quarters of the shape and you have learned about the halves of shapes and the quarters of the shape. Just I will revise the definitions with the main concept because today we are going to start a testing zone of uh, this unit. We will have to complete that and for that you should uh, know you, the definitions of halves of the shapes and the quarters of the shape. The main concept you should know. So guys, halves means to divide anything into two equal part that it will have same shape and same size. Like this pizza, when I divide into two equal parts from the middle, you can say that both are same in shape and same in size. So I can say that each part is one half. Each pizza piece is one half. If I divide a chocolate bar into two equal parts, in the same way, like I can show you here, if I divide it from the middle, that both parts are exactly same. So each part will be called one half. And you know how you have, you will write one half. We write one half by one divided by two. One over two, one half means one divided by two. Okay. So uh, this is, you know about. The next thing we learn about that is quarter. When you do, when, uh, when you divide, any shape or anything into four equal parts. So each part is called one half. Let's suppose again, take the example of this pizza. If you divide it one time vertically, and then again, if you cut it one more time, so you will see that this pizza will be divided into four equal pieces. And the four pieces are equal in the same, they are having same shape and same size. Okay, so when you divide same uh, a pizza or any shape into four equal parts in such a way that they have same shape and same size, so each part will be called one quarter. One quarter. How you will write one quarter? You will write one quarter like one over four. Okay, you will write like one over four. Okay, so you can cut. Uh, different shapes and you can uh, make quarters. Now you have to revise the concept of quarters and halves. I told you guys two halves make one whole. Two halves make one whole. That's mean one over two plus one over two is equals to one. Look here. If you divide a pizza into two equal pieces, okay, and you eat this piece also and this piece also. Half, this is also half, this is also half. If you eat two half pieces of the pizza, that's mean you eat full pizza. That's mean half plus half is equals to one. Half plus half is equals to one. That's mean out of two equal parts, you eat two parts. That's mean you eat one. The next concept was four quarters make one whole. So you can see here guys, if you divide this pizza into four equal pieces, okay? So this is also quart one quart quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, all are one quarter, all are one over four. So if you eat all pizzas, all pieces, this piece also, this piece also, this piece also, this piece also, so what is left now? Nothing, that's mean you eat full pizza. So there are total four pieces and you eat all pieces. So that's mean you eat full pizza. So this is the second concept guys that four quarters make one whole. If you divide a pizza into four pieces and you eat all of the pieces, that's mean you eat full pizza. If you divide pizza into four pieces and out of four, you eat four pieces, that's mean you eat full pizza. And third concept was about two quarters make one half. This is also very uh, clear guys. If you divide a pizza into four equal pieces and you ate two of them. So this is also one, one over four, this is also one over four. This is also quarter, this is also quarter. If you eat these two pieces, that means you are eating half of the pizza. You are eating half of the pizza. So two halves make one whole, one whole. Up to here, everything is clear, guys?
very good very good very good okay that's very good so uh, with this concept we will we'll go further and uh, in the last class we completed page number 110 where you need to complete uh, this are the shapes in the set a halves or quarters of this other shape so this was the half of this circle so that's why you write half this was the quarter of this hexagon that's why you write quarter and this was the half of this rectangle that's why you write half today we are going to start with testing zone which is on page number 113 so guys open your book page number 113 please page number 113 please open book page number 113 did you open guys Yes, Very good. If you did not open, I'm waiting. Please open because we are going to complete this. I will tell you how we have to uh, complete it. I will make you understand. And along with me, you also have to complete in your book. Yes, guys, did you open your book? Yes. That's very good. Now I'm going to read the question. Question number one on page number 113. Which of the shapes given below shows the triangle divided into two halves? This is very important, guys. You have some triangle here. Let's suppose I say this is A. This is B. C and D, okay? You have to identify which triangle is divided into two halves, okay? Which triangle is divided into two halves? Very good, I'm receiving your answers guys, but first I need to make you understand. Guys, if you remember the half definition, the half definition is about when we divide something into two equal parts in such a way that they have same shape and same size. Look, this is a rectangle I draw. If I divide it from middle, so you can say they both are same. Okay, so I can say each part is one half. But instead of dividing from middle, if I divide it from here, so you can say this part is bigger and this is shorter. So this is not two halves. Again, I go to page number 106 and look here. What is half guys? If we divide into two equal parts and in such a way that both parts have same shape and same size. In that case, they are divided into halves. Okay. If I, uh, from the whole pizza, if I just cut from here like this. So this is not half. This piece is not half. Okay, for dividing half, we do have to divide equally into two parts. How we can do it? For dividing equally, it should be same in size as well, and it should be same in shape as well. Okay, so I am talking about A. Guys, you have to check about A. Okay, I am going to check the answers in the chat. Ahmad Al Badi, Suleiman Tariq, Muhammad Momin, Sam Samir, Rayan, and uh, Sidi Ghalib, Umar Nizar. All answers are correct. That's very good. That's very good. But let me ask question first, then give the answer. Okay. The question is, look at the shape A and check whether, is it, uh, whether it is divided into two halves or not. Yes or no. A. A is divided into two halves. Yes or no. Muhammad Talha, very good. Sam Samir, very good. Siddi Ghali, very good. Muhammad Majdi, very good. Sayyid Uzefa, very good. Muhammad Kashan, very good. Suleiman, Umar, Umar Nizar, Umar Mohsin. Abdul Muid, your answer is wrong. Abdul Malik Hassan, very good. Yes, Abdul Muid, now it's correct. Muhammad Mamun, no. Muhammad Ali, good. That's very good. Umar, very good. Muhammad Al Sheikh, very good. All right, guys, I'm going to open your mic. You will uh, say loudly. Yes, guys, A is divided into two halves. Yes or no? 
No, 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 Very good, very good. Why no? Because we can see that this part is smaller and this part is bigger and they are not same in shape. They are different in shape. It has this type of shape. It has this type of shape. Okay. And it has this type of shape. Like this. Okay. So we can say that A is not divided into two halves. So I'm not going to do anything with A. Now check about the B guys. For B, what do you say? Is it divided into two halves? Very good, Abdul Malik Hassan. Yes, guys, answer me in the chat box. Is it divided into the two, two halves? Muhammad Talha, Umar Mohsen, Sidi Ghalib, Suleiman, Tariq, Uzefa, Arshiman, Rayan, Abdul Muhit, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Majdi, Suleiman Alugeli, Arish, Sam Samir. Very good, guys. Uh, Momin, no. Rakan and Arish. Very good. Kashan, very good. Muhammad Mamoon, very good. That's very good, guys. I'm going to open your mic and you will tell me the answer. Yes, guys. Yes or no? B. Yes. The answer is yes. How you can say? Because you will see, you would see that it is divided into two equal parts. They both are same in size and same in shape. They both are same in size and same in shape. Like this. So what I'm going to do here, I will circle this B. You don't need to write A, B, C guys. This is just, I ask, uh, I, I write so that I can take your answers. Okay. Now tell me about C guys. C. Yes or no? Is it divided into two halves? Very good, Abdul Malik Hassan. Ahmad Al Badi, very good. Sayyid Zafa, very good. Umar Mohsen, Muhammad Majdi, Muhammad Talha, Muhammad Ali, Suleiman Al Ugeli, Abdul Muid, Rashiman, Siddiq, Suleiman, Rain, Muhammad Al Raini, Umar Nizar, Umar, Rashid Ahmad, Rakan, Muhammad Momin. Very good, very good. Uh, Muhammad Namun, your answer is wrong. Sam Samir, very good. Muhammad Momin, very good. Rayan, very good. That's perfect. Okay, I'm going to open your mic and you will tell me. Yes, guys, about C. What do you say? Yes or no? No. 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 Very good. Very good. No. Why no? Because you can see that this is the smaller part. This is a small. This is very small. It is a smaller. This is big in size. They are different in sizes also and shape also. So they are not divided into two halves. Okay. Now coming to the D. What do you say about D guys? Is it divided into two halves? Yes or no? Abdul Malik Hassan, very good. Abdul Muhyid, very good. Omar Mahsan, very good. Omar Nizar, very good. Muhammad Majdi, very good. Suleiman Tariq, very good. Muhammad Ali, very good. Muhammad Talha, Rakan, Omar, Muhammad Al Sheikh, Sayyid Zafa, Ari, Siddi Ghalib, Suleiman Lugeli, Rayan, very good. All answers are correct. Muhammad Mamoon, very good. No Yad, Mohanad, very good. Ahmad Al Badi, very good. Time Knife, very good. I'm going to open your mic. Yes, guys, tell me about D. Yes or no? No. No. That's very good. That's very good. D is also not divided into two halves. Why? Same. They are not equal in sizes. Look, this is the big. This is a smaller. For equally divi uh, dividing into two parts, they should be same in size and same in shape. So here we are going to circle only one triangle, which is B. Now question number two, guys. Question number two. Which of the shape given below shows the circle divided into four quarters? Now you have to check the quarters. Which of the shape is divided into four quarters? Again, guys, let's suppose this is A, B, and C, and D. This is A, B, C, and D. So I'm asking about A. 
Is it divided into two equal parts, uh, four equal parts? Yes. Is it divided into four quarters? Very good, Abdul Malik Hassan. Sayyid Zafa. Suleiman Tariq, Siddi Ghalib, Suleiman Lugeli, Muhammad Mahmoon, Muhammad Mashti, Arish. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yes, guys, answer me. Hey, no. yes or no? No. 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 no? Very good, very good. So A is no. All right. Check out B now. Check out B. What do you say about B? Is it divided into four quarters? Yes or no? Muhammad Talha, very good. Abdul Malik Hassan, very good. Umar Nizar, very good. Sayyid Zafa, very good. Uh, Suleiman Lugeli, Rashid Ahmad, Umar Mahsan, Sam Samir, Muhammad Majdi, Umar, Rakan, Siddiq, Saleh Al Malohi, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad. Very good. Arish, what does that mean? Suleiman Tariq, Muhammad Kashan, very good. Arish, Zafa Rashid. Very good, guys. Muhammad Al Raini, that's very good. I'm going to open your mic. Yes, guys, is it yes or no? Very good. Because you can see that it is divided into four equal parts and all parts are same in shape and size. So B is yes. So what you are going to do, you are going to circle B in your book. So circle B. Because you have to shape the circle, uh, you have to identify which shape is divided into four quarters. All right, guys. Now coming to the C. Coming to the C, and I'm going to ask you by opening your mic. Tell me about C. Very good, Abdul Malik Hassan and Arish, Suleiman Tariq, Sidi Ghalib. Is it yes or no? Suleiman Alugeli, very good. Abdul Muhit, Sayyid Zafa, very good. Yes, guys. Yes or no? No. 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 Very good. Very good. I have received answers from the chat also. Taim, Muhammad Ali, Saleh, Muhammad Masti, Rakan, Arshiman, Suleiman, Muhammad Kashan, and Umar Mohsen. Very good. The answer is no. Because this is a full circle. It is not divided into even half. It is a full circle. Yes, guys. Uh, talk about D. Yes or no? Is it divided into four quarters? Aha, uh -huh. Rayan, very good. Rashid, very good. Muhammad Kashan, very good. Siddiq Ghali, very good. Mohanad, Suleiman Tariq, Muhammad al Suleiman Suleiman Lugeli, very good. Suleiman al Lugeli, very good. I'm going to open your mics. Yes, guys. Yes or no? No, Very good. Why no, guys? Because it is divided into two equal parts. So each part is one half, not one quarter. So you are not going to do it. Very good, guys. I have received your answer from uh, Omar, Time Knife, Muhammad Momin, Abdul Malik Hassan, Muhammad Mahmoon, Arish, Muhammad Talha, Yusuf. Very good. Question number three, guys. Now stop uh, do, sending message in the chat box because I'm going to tell you some important thing. Question number three is telling you color half of the total number of squares in the picture given you. Now, they're asking you to color half of the total number of squares in the picture. I'll tell you what is the half. First, what you have to do, you have to count the number of square. How many squares are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, guys, how many total squares are there? Very good. There are total 10 squares. 10 squares. And guys, you know, I told you half means to divide equally into two parts. To divide equally into two parts, right? Or this is also half. This is half, right? So when you divide 10 equally into two parts, that's mean 10 divided by two. If you want to know what is the half of 10, that's mean 10 divided by two. You have to divide 10 squares into two equal parts. So what you will do, you will divide 10 by two 
in order to find out what is the half of 10. If you have to find out the half of 10, what you will do? You will divide 10 by 2. For 10 divided by 2, you will check the table of 2. 2 multiplied by what will give you 10? I'm going to open your mic and you will have to tell me. Yes, guys, 2 multiplied by what will give you 10? 20. Very good. I, very good. Very good. 2 multiplied by 1 equals to 2. 2 multiplied by 2, 4. 2 by 3, 6. 2 by 4, 8. And 2 multiplied by 5 equals to 10. So 10 divided by 2 is equals to 5. That's mean 5 is the half of 10. That's mean 5 is the half of 10. So I will write. One half of ten is five. One half of ten is five. So five squares will be colored. How many squares will be colored? Five. Guys, do you understand that? How to find out the half? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. I just repeat it for you. If you want to find out the half of any number, just divide it by two. Because you know half means to divide into two equal parts. Just divide it by two and check the table of two. Two multiplied by what will give you that number? Like 10. Two multiplied by five is equals to 10. Then in that way you will find out the half. Now guys, because you have to color here, uh, color half of the total number. So uh, you will color it half of it. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. From here up to five. This is five. This is four guys. Take out, you can do any color, okay? Four and this is five. This is five. So color five. Are you coloring guys? Are you coloring the boxes? Yeah. That's very good. That's very good. So this is question number three. This is question number three. Color it and then we will move to the question number four. Question number four, guys. Question number four. Amir bought 12 files. Amir bought 12 files. One half of them were blue. How many were blue? One half of them were blue and rest were black. Other were black. How many blue, fly with blue files did he buy? This is the game, guys, very easy. The question is, Amir bought some files. How many files he bought? That is 12. Half of them were blue and half of them were black. One half of them were blue. So you have to find out what is the half of 12. In that way, you will just, you will find out how many blue files are there. Because the question is asking how many blue, fly, uh, blue files did he buy? So you know that he has about 12 files and half of them were blue. So you just have to find out the half of 12. Very good, Muhammad Gashan. But let me make other students understand. 12 files and you have to find out the half of 12. So guys, I told you to find out the half of any number divided by two. This is half. So 12 divided by 2 is equals to what? Check the table of 2. 2 multiplied by what will give you 12? Very good. Abdul Malik Hassan, Muhammad al Raini, Muhammad Ali, Suleiman Tariq, Sayyid Zafa, and Siddi Ghalib, Ahmad Al-Badi, Muhammad Ali, Abdul Muid, Rashid Ahmad, Muhammad Talha, 
Yusufani, Rayan. Very good. Arshiman, very good. So you have to find out 12 divided by 2 is equals to what? I am going to open your mic. Check the table of 2 and tell me. 2 multiply by what will give you 12, guys? Yes. 2 multiply by what will give you 12? Yes. Six. Six. Two multiply by one, two. Two multiply by two, four. Two multiply by three, six. Two multiply by four, eight. Two multiply by five, ten. And two multiply by six, twelve. So the answer is six. Guys, I want to mention some of the students. They are not participating in the chat. Sami, Yusuf Al Mahmoud, Tamim, Taim, Suleiman Abdullah, Mustuba Ahmed, Moaz. Yad, you are not participating in the chat, guys. If you don't participate, how will I know that whether you understand or not? Hmm? So you all should participate in the uh, answers whenever I ask you a question. Okay. So the answer is six. The answer is six here. Guys, I'm going to ask, ask one more question, except out of this book. Okay. Be ready. You all have to answer that. Write six here, guys. The question I'm going to ask is, instead of 12 guys, if it is 16, if it is 16, Amir bought 16 files and half of them were blue. How many blue files did he buy? Answer me that. Kashan, very good. All of you answer it. Siddhi Ghali, very good. Suleiman Tariq, very good. Sayyid Uzaifa, very good. Mawaz, very good. Muhammad Ali, very good. Abdul Malik Hassan, very good. Muhammad Talha, very good. Arish, very good. Total 16 files he bought. You have to find out half of 16. Half of them were blue. How many blue files did he buy if there are 16 files he bought? Very good. Arish, Arish very good. Ahmad Al Badi, very good. Yes, Abdul Mohid, exactly. Suleiman Al Ugeli, very good. Yusuf Hani, very good. Mushtaba Ahmad, Y18. Rayan, very good. Ahmad Al Mas, what are you answering? I could not get it. Aris, no. I'm going to take one student, a uh, Yusuf. Yusuf, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yusuf, tell me first thing that why you are not answering in the chat. Hmm? Why you are not participating in the class? First. Yes, you should participate, okay? Yes. Okay, tell me the answer. If I'm about 16 files and half of them were blue, how many files did he buy? What is the half of 16? Yes. What? What is the half of 16? I'm about 16 files and half of them were blue. How many blue files did he buy? Eight. Eight. Very good. How do you know? Eight plus eight, 16. No, but you will not say. You will say because 16 divided by 2 is equals to 8. Okay. Because you are finding out half. Finding out half means dividing into two equal parts. Yes. So divide by 2. 2 multiplied by what will give you 16? That is 8. Okay? Yes. That's very good. All right, guys. Your all answers are correct. The answer is 8. The answer is 8. And for your knowledge, guys, if someone asks you to find out the quarter, 
So quarter in quarter you divide by four. In quarter you divide by four. Let's suppose this question. If say half quarter of them were blue. So what I will do here? I will divide twelve by four. Four multiplied by three equals to twelve. So I will say there were three blue files. But this is beyond your syllabus. Just for your knowledge. Question number five, guys. In question number five, what you have to do? Take the shape that can be cut into half with the dotted line. So this can cut be cut into the half, and you have to show how. Look, if you draw a line, a dotted line, vertically. So you can say that it is cut into half. Okay. So each part is one half. Okay. From the middle, you have to draw. From the middle, you have to draw. It is half, right? You can also cut horizontally, but you just need to cut one time. Okay. Very good. Yes, horizontally we can also. If you want, you can cut from here also. No problem. And look at this shape, guys. If I cut it vertically, like this. So you can see that it is not same in shape because of this. Look, if it is like this from here also, so we can say it is same in shape, but that is not same in shape. So you cannot cut it from here. You cannot cut it vertically. Now I will check horizontally. So you can see, guys, that you can cut it horizontally. The both part. This is also same, and this is also same. So the answer is yes. We can cut it into two halves horizontally. Vertically, it is not possible, but horizontally you can do it. So the answer is yes. The both lines can be cut into two halves. Into halves. And again, guys, this is I need to revise. If you draw a line like this, so this is we say vertically, and this is we say horizontally. So this rectangle can be cut into halves vertically as well and horizontally as well. But this shape can be only cut into two halves horizontally, not vertically. Is it clear, guys? Yes. Yes. Very good. This is the end of our uh, halves and quarters unit, and this is the end of testing zone as well. Uh, do you understand it? All the unit halves and quarters. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Very good. Do you have yes, any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? No. 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 If you have any question, you can send the message in the chat box. I can take your question. If you have any question, you can send the message in the chat box. I can take your question. Okay, no questions. How was the unit? Was it easy, guys? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. All right, guys. This is the end of our class. Inshallah, uh, I'll meet you into the next class. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye bye. See you in the next class. Bye 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 bye.